hi everyone. Um, it's good to hear from you again or to see you again. Um, this week we're going to have another story that Jesus told us in the Bible. Um, last week we had the story of the Good Samaritan and how it taught us that we should care for people and be kind because that's how Jesus wants us to live. Well today the story is about um, Jesus wanting us to listen. And so I'm going to read you part of it out of the Bible and it comes from Luke chapter 8 verses 4 and onwards. And if you can have a look down here, it shows, uh, you can see that I've got a whole stack of things here to tell the story with. Now I'm just going to start. There was a great crowd gathered and people were coming to Jesus from every town. Um, he told them this story. A farmer went out to plant his seed. Do you like my farmer hat? While he was planting some seed, here's my seed, some of it fell onto a path. And then people would walk up and down the path and the birds would come and peck the seed until there was none left. Some seed fell upon the rocks. And here's my rocks. Fell upon the rocks. And then slowly the seed would grow, but then the sun would come and would come down really strong. And because there was no, not a lot of dirt and stuff, it would slowly wither and die and end up dead among the rocks. Then some seed would fall on the, the weedy ground and some of it would start to grow but then all the weeds would grow up and it couldn't even get to see the sun. And so the last lot Jesus said, he, the farmer, sowed the seed on the really good ground and it got watered and the sun came out and it grew and grew and grew until it was a hundredfold of plants. Everyone was sitting there listening to this story but his followers said to him, to Jesus, what do you mean by this story? And so Jesus told them, the path was all about how we hear God's word, but sometimes we don't understand it. And we forget to ask questions when we don't understand it. You forget the information and like the seed being eaten from the path, the information in our brain about God is forgotten. And then it goes from our mind. The part with the rocks, is that sometimes, and there's the rocks, sometimes we learn something about God and we get really excited because we hear about God and we think it's important, but we don't learn anything else about God. And so that information just slowly withers away. They believe for a little while, but stuff happens and they're in their life and they end up forgetting about Jesus. In the seed, with lots and lots of weeds, the weeds are choking the, the seed plants. And that's telling us that other things in our life become more important than knowing about God. And they crowd out our brain and our thoughts and they take, up, take over from our thoughts about God. But in the good ground, the plants grow and grow and grow and the seed falls on the good ground which is like us hearing God's word, learning more and more and more about God's word, listening to Jesus' stories and growing in God and learning to have a relationship with Jesus. And that is what Jesus wanted us to know, how important it was to have that relationship and not just have a bit of knowledge but to think 
and learn all the time. And you say, how do I learn about God? How, you know, what do I do? Well, one of the things is to read our Bible. One of the things is to talk to our parents. One of the things is to go to kids' church and go to scripture and all of those things. All of those things tell us a little bit more about God and a little bit more about Jesus. And slowly our information builds and we learn more and more and we get to have that relationship with Jesus that we really want. In the Bible, it actually says, and this is our verse for today, nothing is as wonderful as knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord. And it says that in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. And that's what Jesus was trying to tell us, that the more we learn, the more we have a better relationship with Jesus and a greater knowledge of God. And that is so important, so that when things happen in our lives, we know we can trust in Jesus. And so that was another reason why Jesus told this story. And he told lots of stories, and who knows, another time we might hear another one. All right, I will talk to you another time. See you later. Have a good week. Bye.